Okay, uh, as promised, in this video, I'm going to be explaining how indicators work. And indicators are usually weak acids. And you're probably familiar with some weak acid, acids like um, ethanoic acid, ethanoic acid, which has a formula CH3 COOH. I might be thinking, ethanoic acid? What's ethanoic acid? Well, ethanoic acid is, you may commonly know it as vinegar. And this is what we put on, say, like chips or something like that, maybe a clean oven. And it's a weak acid, CH3COOH. And what this means is when we put this in solution, it doesn't completely dissociate. And this basically means that it, with the same concentration of say a weak acid and a strong acid, the weak acid is gonna have much less of an effect on the pH in the acidic direction as a strong acid. And that's basically the difference, but we won't look too much, too deeply into that right now. Um, if we look at uh, indicator being a weak acid, what I'll do is I'll represent the indicator in two parts. As I explained before, acids dissociate when they're in solution. And so they form the the original. So say, um, in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'll represent it as H, H, I'll use it, I'll, re, I'll, I'll draw the H in gray. H and uh, I N, oh, I meant to do that in blue. H and I N and Let's get black up here and this would be in an equilibrium with say let's see of i n oops i n minus and h plus h plus and what's happened here well what's happened is this has been put placed in in, it's in solution and it's currently in an equilibrium in an equilibrium with H I N and H plus and I N minus. So this is the dissociated form and this is the associated form. And the special thing about these types of indicators which are oh weak acids is that when they're in the associated form, the way they work is that they are a different color to the color they are in their dissociated form. So as you can see here, this is blue. And as you can see here, this is not blue, it's yellow. And so from this change in the actual molecular structure, this color change comes about. And the way the acid base titration causes this is that let's say this was the form when um, there's a lot of acid present because this is a weak acid. So when there's a lot of acid present, this doesn't really need to dissociate. So it's gonna be more over to, I, 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 as, I, as, as um, I, I won't go too much into that, uh, the Chatelot stuff. But, uh, but what happens when we add an acid to, um, to a solution is that the concentration of H plus increases. And so what happens is, um, the position of this particular equilibrium is going to be influenced by this increase. And so if you imagine that this was a box, right? If the concentration of H plus increased, it would push on this box, right? It would push on this box and push on this box. And what happens is the box has only a certain amount of room. And so what's going to happen is rather than it continually pushing on this box, it goes, it goes through this, little um, vacuum hole. Let's just visualize it like I mean a vacuum. <laughs> and, and, whoa, what, what the hell? Oh, right, that's my video. Oh no, I uploaded it to the wrong account. Oops. Um, where was I? Yeah, um, so what happens is the concentration of the hydrogen 
of the of the concentration of this associated indicator will increase and what will happen if this happens is that the concentration of h plus overall will decrease and so we're trying to uh resist this change and in increase in the in the pressure on the box and so what happens is if you add more acid the the color of this is going to be blue so when there's there's acid present the indicator will be blue now what happens when there's base present so say um naoh as you saw in the reaction a neutralization reaction happens between the oh minus and the h plus and what happens is this forms h12 and so as you can see the pressure on the box if we're removing h2 from this i mean if we're removing h plus ions from this the pressure on the box will change change direction and it would push inwards instead and we can imagine that being a vacuum now a vacuum and what happens when we have a vacuum vacuums tend to suck things in and in this case what since there's h plus being removed it's going to suck in these H's from this side of the equilibrium. So now what's going to happen is more of this is going to dissociate and therefore less of this blue color is going to be present and more of this yellow color is going to be present because if this dissociates there's going to be more of this left on its own without H plus. And so this is what it would be like if there was lots of base present. Lots of base because the H plus concentration is trying to increase to fight this increase in OH minus ions. And so that's basic, I don't know if I explain it very well, but that's basically the way indicators work. So yeah, um, I hope you guys learned something from this video and yeah, I'll see you in the next, next video.